it's our last day in the Cameron Highlands today and we're going on a little tour this morning. It's half past eight and look, this one is awake, can't believe it. We are going, we're just walking across the road to go to where we're getting picked up. We are going to a tea plantation and where else are we going? Mossy Forest. We're going up to the highest point in Peninsula Malaysia, which is Gun Gunung Brinchang or something it's called. This is the tour we're going on, the Mossy Forest Discovery Half Day Tour. So Guntung Brinchang, which is 6,666 feet above sea level, Mossy Forest and jungle trekking, tea plantation and factory and butterfly farm, which I'm not really well out to do the butterfly farm, but that's just included. And it was 50 for me, 40 for Stephen. Here we go. Morning. Morning. Do you like it in the back here? <laughs> So he's dropped us off at this viewpoint of the tea plantations. I know I was just like, I was going to vlog and I was like, everyone's so quiet. <laughs> it really is so quiet. Check out this view. wander through. I have been to a tea plantation years and years ago in Sri Lanka, um, maybe like in 2000 or something. <laughs> Stephen's amazed that these leaves somehow turn into tea. Hopefully you'll find all that out later when we go to the Tea plantation actually go into the place. This was just like a stop off for photos and things. Stunningly beautiful, so beautiful. The grass is so good. We're heading back to the. Oh, oh, Stephen fell. You okay? Yeah. Oh, there's a little hole there, isn't there? Yeah. We're heading back to the, uh, the van truck thing. Oh, you flip flops. You don't like getting flip flops wet, do you? <laughs> okay, both the plantation is belong to scholar, Scottish family. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, Scottish family's mm -hmm. already been over here in 1920s when he bought the land this is belong to Bo B O H is right on the board over there okay so both the plantation started in 1920s when the guy bought the land okay so what the guy did when he brought so many workers from South India so the South Indian people was working over here so when the South Indian people when they came here nearly around 140 people so what they did they cut the forest they cut the forest they they didn't burn the for, uh, trees, yeah? They used the wood. Mm. Okay, they just cut it. They cut it and they so clear up everything and they started to plant the tea in 1929. So they planted the uh, plant in 1929. So from 1929 until now, this is the same plant. The oh. tea plant's already 89 years old and they can last more than 120 oh, wow. to 150 years. So the tea plant is not originally from Malaysia, it's brought from Sri Lanka. Okay, they pluck the young leaf by hand, they throw inside the basket. So is that tea basically? This is all the tea, yeah? the light green. Oh, okay, beautiful. so they will pluck the young leaf. Mm. Once they pluck when the basket's full, they need to walk until to the tea factory over there, throw the leaf and back in the same place, pluck again. That was their daily job, signed from 1920s to 1984. So in 1985, they, know, they have no more South Indian people. The owner brought so many workers from uh, foreigners that mean like Bangladesh, Nepal, Indonesia. So when these Bangladesh, Nepal, Indonesian workers, when they came here, no woman, yeah, only men. 
okay mm -hmm. and they are not 140 people they are only 25 workers so these mm -hmm. bangladesh nepal indonesian workers they are not plucking by hand they started with a new technology that we call harvesting the tea one of the men will carry the basket they cut with the shears they throw mm -hmm. inside the basket now the one more tea machine by two people left and right they have a small petrol engine scissors blower and empty bag holding by two people so it's only 10 kg so when they put on the plant when they start the machine so two people will slide the shears cut the leaf the blower push the leaf inside the bag easy job but when they started with the shears and machine the quality of the tea yeah. dropped a little bit so yeah. i can't say it's the first best quality mm. it goes to second and third stage mm. too hot yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> left the tea plantation viewpoint we've headed up to mossy forest now i think we're at the highest point on peninsula um malaysia now i'm gonna go and have a look i'm sure our guide will tell us highest peak is going over here from that side yeah yes you need to continue the walk like 500 meter they have another uh, highest peak of camera highlight but the problem is they already put a gate earlier they just let us to know nobody can walk but now mm. most probably like tourists, yeah, the Malaysian tourists not listening. So they keep walking. So the government have no choice, they put the gate. They ah. close it. So guys, so this is Mossy Forest, yeah? Mossy Forest is not a mosquito forest. They have no mosquitoes and no leeches. Because this is 2,000 meters. So above sea level. So this kind of like insects, beetles, like we call uh, uh, mosquitoes, leeches, yeah? They can't survive. Only we can find few beetles. That's the things they will uh, they will stand on the trees. They will rub themselves that to make a noise. That we yeah. call cicada. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cicada here normal, yeah. They will, when you walk into the forest, we can hear their shouting. Mossy forest. The forest already 155 million years old forest, and the forest still under protection by the forest department. We call Jabatan Purutanan Negeri Pahang, yeah. So Pahang State is Kamahiran, yeah, and Pahang State. Okay, they are taking care of the forest only for the tourists. That's why they make a platform, they let people to walk inside, take pictures as much as you can, but do not pluck anything. It's the border between two states. Part of the forest is in two states. Part of the forest is in Pahang, which is Kamen Islands, and part is in the other state. <laughs> okay, our guide has left us. Just gave us a little bit of information about the mossy forest and some of the plants and things. And oh, did you not? Uh, so now we've got about forty-five minutes an hour to have a little wander through by ourselves whoa is that its branch that's just yeah branch of this tree more mud we're having to clamber <laughs> you can if i've done it you can do it just Stephen couldn't get over that so i've just uh I've just left him there without what little wander up myself. Can't really go any further. It's like this now. So I'm going to head back. It's very muddy as well. I'm back with Stephen. Let's go up this uh, flight of stairs. <laughs> These are monkey cups. Guys just saying that frogs live inside them. 
They kill bugs, do they? Some, some bugs, but they found frogs living in them. And that's crazy. I was just on the right, that little red thing there. Here's some more of those monkey cups. I think they're dead though. We don't, they're not actually called monkey cups, I don't know what they're called, but like the Malaysians call them monkey cups. But which doesn't really make any still, sense. They're not stupid. No, so, monkeys no. don't go anywhere. Like obviously they fill up with water, but monkeys don't go anywhere near them. It's bugs and other things that go in them. <laughs> Plantation. There are all the guys sorting the uh, leaves out. We're now at the tea factory. I'm assuming we're going to learn how state how the tea is going to be processed. Second and third floor is a withering. They dry the leaf in 40 to 50 degrees for 24 hours but they're not showing people because it's a bit dangerous when people are looking it's blowing yeah so that's been dangerous for eyes so they close it at the top so you are lucky to see rolling fermentation drying and softening but today no processing sorry for that they right it over there because yesterday i see they was cutting the leaf i think today they don't want to do any process yeah so what you can do you can walk inside everything's right on the bot we're going to go inside the factory. Unfortunately, he just said there's no processing today, which is a shame. But we can go and have a little look at what's going on. The first stage is withering. No. Let's go in. Oh, it smells. Second stage is rolling. These are the machines that they use to roll the tea leaves. It's a shame we can't see them doing it today. The third stage is fermentation. And the fourth stage is drying. This is where the drying takes place. And the fifth and final stage is the sorting. This is where it's all sorted. Oh, good to do it, I haven't got to see it. There is a little bit that we can go through and like with some video and stuff so we get to watch it. It's not quite the same. Well, right out here. Not quite the same, but hey. Look, no tea processing for the day due to low harvest. This is what they use now in the tea plantation. Rather than picking it, they use these shears, which means that the tea is not as good quality because it doesn't get all the nice little leaves off the top it gets well it does get them but it gets like all the other leaves as well so the tea quality has gone down since we started using these in 1989 did he say yeah we're going to go in the video room oh no Here we are in the shop where they're selling all the tea. I'm not actually a massive, well, I don't drink tea. I quite like it, but I just don't drink hot drinks at all, to be honest. Well, look, it's only like the 20 tea bags. Well, one ringgit is like 18p. We're going to head into the tea room and just get a little cup of tea to try a tea room. Yeah. Busy. What is yesterday? It's like tap. Yeah. 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 Stephen's going to have his first little taste of tea. 
Yeah. It's not a bad place to have your first. <laughs> What a bad place though to have your first taste of tea. What do you think? No, it's just black tea, no sugar. And you want to try it with some sugar in? Add some sugar. Okay, we've got more sugar. Make a difference. Make a difference. You don't like it? Okay. A nip into the hotel. I would like to sit outside, really, or be outside, not inside. So, you wanted to go in for a little bit while. Do you want some food though? Are you hungry? We went back home for a little bit, and I have now come out. I've left Stephen back at the hotel. He didn't want to come out, so I've just come for another little hike. I've chosen trail. I think it's trail 11. I'm just going up there now. It's such a lovely. Afternoon, it was too nice to sit inside, but I figured I would leave Stephen. He didn't want to come, so I feel like I'm in someone's back garden here. Look, it doesn't look like... Okay, I just had a little check of my map. I've put my flip-flops on. I've no idea why I've done that. I just thought that I should probably check my map, seeing as I'm on my own. It's probably not the best idea to come out on your own into the middle of the jungle. Jungle? Is it called jungle? I don't know what it's called. But, uh yeah, this is trail 10 and it leads on to trail 11. It's a shame Stephen didn't come on this one. I think he would have liked this one. He kind of likes having obstacles and things to climb over. And the one we did, oh, I just hit the camera into uh, that branch. See, like here, an obstacle to climb under or over or whatever. He likes it. Let me just go under. Hang on. I'm under. It's back there behind me. Yeah, he likes to kind of have an obstacle. He didn't like yesterday's one it was so steep it was just lots of steps but oh god how am I gonna get down here uh, but I think you would have liked this one never mind I'm back down very hot sticky and sweaty that was really really good I enjoyed that I'm gonna I think head to that market by our hotel and see if well see if it's open first off and see if they have any of those vegetable things that I got on the first day because they haven't had any since our first day and I really liked them. They did not have any of those vegetable things at the market so I'll grab Stephen and we're coming out. Yeah, I had a look before. When never came back from my walk, I had a little look to see if you had any. Uh, so we'll grab Stephen, yeah, and we're gonna go and find something together, whether we'll go somewhere or not sure yet, but we've not eaten anything all day really. We have had like two mangoes. We've had four plates this morning. We've got the only sort of restaurants there seems to be is um, Indian restaurants around here. So come in your restaurant. I've ordered Indian. Stephen hasn't, of course. The cricket. It's Sri Lanka versus India. Um, Stephen's ordered a burger. Food's arrived. 